Thank you for coming to our event. Um, can you do a brief um, introduction of yourself and what you do? Yeah, sure. So my name is Rajit Singh. Uh, I work with AI Network. I do marketing and strategy for them. So AI Network is a blockchain-based AI development ecosystem mm -hmm. and a GPU infrastructure ecosystem as well. So our newest uh, product, I actually think it's really cool, and that's not just because I work with them. Uh, it's an open source LLM, and you can interact with it with uh, a wallet. So you can only interact with it when your wallet's connected, uh, but that means that every interaction is digitized as an NFT. Mm. So meaning you own all of the data and you own everything generated by the AI. That's yeah, cool. that's the LLM. Yeah. Uh, and also you can create your own bots as well. So like on ChatGPT, you, you can create your own bots. You can do the same thing on our LLM, which is called INA. It's gonna be released quite soon. And every bot is digitized as an NFT as well. Mm. So, you as, the NFT, you as the NFT holder own all the value that that bot creates. And, and you can also sell it, you can buy other bots, you can rent it out to other people. So say for argument's sake, you, know, you create a bot to write crypto article content. Mm. And say your bot creates that content and then it gets picked up by a news agency and that news agency pays per article. Mm. So if it uses your article, if, if they use your article and they pay you, then you own the NFT, so that value is yours. Mm. So we're connecting blockchain and generative AI. And yeah, so that's, so that's you know, I'm not sure that's what AI Network does. Mm. Yeah, and I do their marketing and strategy, or I, I help them out with it. That's really yeah. cool. It Actually, it's a, a, there's a something common like in what Puniex, Puni AI efforts trying to do. Mm. So we're trying to build a marketplace where, like I mentioned to you, we can do um, um, or resources annotation tagging, um, but that's from the user side. Mm. So we, we also have the people uh, providing the materials that needs to be tagged, needs mm -hmm. to be annotated, and then it, it itself forms a marketplace where um, there are people giving, um, paying, and people earning mm. um, tokens. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's what we do. No, that's, 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 that's really cool, actually. OK, well, we can definitely connect that. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question actually echoes you the first one. So what do you think about blockchain and AI integration in the future? Mm. I think it's inevitable, like absolutely inevitable. So I mean, blockchain was a massive shift in, in the way the world views currency, money, value. And AI is an even bigger shift. So blockchain, I think the last time I checked, I think it was four or five percent of the world owned crypto. That's only going up. And AI back in 2022, November, when OpenAI released ChatGPT, it changed the world. Yeah. Just 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 within a month it changed. Like the fastest, the fastest downloaded and then the fastest um, growing app ever in history. It was crazy. And and it's it's only it's only speeding up. Like the the quality of generative AI is 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 rising exponentially, and we can't catch it as humans. We just we just can't, right? So AI is growing on one side, and then blockchain is also growing. So their marriage is inevitable. Mm. So I think that it's it's very important to be at the forefront now. Uh, I think this is the best time to be at the forefront because this is when we'll catch most of the well, not the movements, but this this is when they catch the the innovations. So this this is my my opinion. It's inevitable. So. From that point of view, what do you think about the um, token market? If AI and blockchain, like you said, mm -hmm. their marriage is inevitable, how do you think it will affect the uh, crypto market? That's an interesting question. Uh, I think it will affect it in the way that AI tokens will become more popular. And we've seen that, right? We've seen that. AI tokens are definitely become, will be becoming more popular. But I think it will affect the token market from the point of view of, mm. of uh, value and from uh, use, utility, utility, right? So generally speaking, tokens with utility are more valuable because, the, because they can be used. Yes. Meme tokens, fine. They're, they're valuable enough, but they're based purely on hype, right? Yeah. One, once the hype goes, they dip. Yeah. But tokens with actual utility will stick around. They'll go up and down, but they'll stick around at the end of the day, right? Mm. And I think this is what will happen with the token market with AI and blockchain connected. Mm. AI tokens with actual utility, actual value, with utility which can actually help in some way, like help users in some way, they will maintain their value and they will ultimately rise mm. with the value of the project or you know, whichever, whichever project is, has, has brought those tokens out and is given them utility. Mm. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that. So um, then 
I just I would introduce you what OpenDX mm. EAF is doing. Mm. Um, what do you think about um, that project? I think it's great. I think it's great, and I'm not just saying that because gen because genuinely speaking, as we've discussed already, AI is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's 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 permeating a lot more of our lives now. For a lot more, uh, I think a lot of us just use AI mm. yes. quite a lot now, and it kind of speaks to human nature because. <laughs> because human society advances and technology advances, sorry, human society advances when we reduce the number of actions we have to take to reach a certain goal, right? right? Yeah. And that is what AI is doing. It's given us so much convenience, like a crazy amount of convenience. So with, um, so with AI Apex, your project, I think it's great because it's connecting uh, annotations and comments to images and things like that. So, so that, that's, that's only gonna increase over time, right? Because the more we use AI, the more we use AI for more different things. So if we're annotating images and we get um, rewarded with tokens for that, then even better, because we'll probably be doing it anyway, right? If you want to get some more if, um, information about an image and use AI, then it's much better that you get rewarded than you don't, right? Yeah. So Pundix seems to be at the forefront of this. <laughs> so I'm bull so I'm 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 bullish on this, and actually I'm I'm going to use it myself. Because actually I bought I bought Pundix token like a while ago, like three oh. years back. Yeah, like three years back, and and I've still got them. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm bullish on it, and I'm gonna carry on, and I'm gonna use it myself actually. That's great. That's great to hear. Thank you so much. What do you think about Bitcoin in general? Oh. Ah, that's, uh, I actually love this question, not going to lie. Uh, so I think, I think Bitcoin uh, is a world changer. Mm -hmm. I'm like, like AI was as well. The reason I think that is because Bitcoin was the first truly decentralized currency. And in my opinion, Bitcoin is the only truly decentralized currency, in my opinion. But actually, it's not really a currency because you can't really use it properly to buy things because the value just is, is doing this all the time, right? So this, you said, the reason I think this is because the supply of Bitcoin cannot be messed with. Mm. It can't be manipulated. Yeah. And also there's no team behind it. There's no, there's no team buying Bitcoin. Every other token is a team. Yeah. So even Ethereum as a second biggest crypto by market cap, it still has a team. Vitalik is still there. So it's possible for governments to pressure the team and to pressure uh, whoever's at the top, right? Mm. So there's still some element of potential manipulation. Mm -hmm. With Bitcoin, there's none of that because no one knows who Satoshi is. Yeah. And it's just out there now, right? So many people use Bitcoin mm. that it can't be manipulated. So you know, basically, so it's the, it's, it's the only, it's the only um, crypto which, is, which, which truly flows on its own, mm. if you know what I mean. And over time, it will only increase, in my opinion, because the, there'll only ever be 21 million Bitcoins Right now, as I mentioned, I think roughly 5% of the world hold crypto mm. and Bitcoin is the first one that people think of. Yeah. And so when new people come to the market, they're going to be buying Bitcoin. Yeah. So if there's only ever 21 million Bitcoins and there's 8 billion people in the world only rising, then the sheer, sheer just mathematics mm. of it will say that the, the value will just climb and climb and climb and climb. Honestly, I'm not saying that it will. Because no one's going to let them out. No one knows what's going to happen in the future. Yeah. But just, st just statistically speaking, right. that's the direction I think it will go. And I think Bitcoin is is here to stay. But as a as an actual currency used for payment systems, I don't think it's that great because the value moves too much. It's like trying to use gold to pay for stuff. It doesn't really work, right? And I think Bitcoin is like that. So Bitcoin will be a store of value. But in my opinion, the the value is just likely just to rise. Mm. So like Bitcoin is actually it's the icon of yeah, blockchain. And like you said, everybody who's trying to, even the newcomers, anyone who's starting to get get to know about crypto, they think about Bitcoin and they think about owning some Bitcoin. Yeah, so it's a simple math, right? Yeah, well, yeah. I'm all for Bitcoin as well, so I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah, 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 I'm, still, I'm, a, I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah, hey, I network and Pandex on the same page. <laughs> Great, thank right. you so much. Thank you so much. Great.